All right, guys, so first thing, I just wanna say I have a different audio hookup this time. So I may, maybe this will make it sound better, maybe not. I found out how to hook my Yeti up to the, the DSLR, so hopefully that makes the audio sound better. Not too sure, might have to go back to the old way. But um, I had this whole video topic I wanted to talk about. So I'll probably release that tomorrow because I was scrolling through my YouTube video from yesterday and I noticed a YouTuber left a comment and it was an article for this, this how Warner Brothers paid critics, paid YouTubers to give positive reviews to a game called The Shadow of Mordor. If you guys don't, if you're not much of a gamer, because I really don't cover games too much on my channel anymore. If you guys are unfamiliar with what that game is, it is the Lord of the Rings game. It's a, it's a game based in the Lord of the Rings universe. It was on Xbox One and PS4. I want to say PC, but I'm not entirely sure on that. And I read this article, and apparently uh, Warner Brothers had a contract with several YouTubers, uh, PewDiePie being one of them, saying, hey, look, this is a sponsored video. This, These are the rules. We're paying you. Sponsor the video. Give us a good review. Um, so, it, I mean, and people are, like, losing their mind. And apparently there was, like, this huge lawsuit for this. And I guess Warner Brothers is now settling this out of court. So I want to start off by saying this isn't nothing new. So I'm not going to sit here and, like, oh, my God. If they did this with Shadow Mordor, did they do this with Aquaman? Did they do this with Wonder Woman? Did they pay YouTubers to give Aquaman a positive review? First off, I want to say this. Um, one, I don't know if they did or didn't. There was a lot of people, I remember, like, what, a year or two ago, people were like, oh, Marvel, Disney's paying people to give Marvel movies positive reviews. I'm not saying that's not happening. I'm not saying it is happening. So, what I'm saying is, there's a lot of stuff happening, and I'm pretty sure this happens all the time. Now, I've dealt with sponsors once or twice. And when I spot when I dealt with the sponsors, the sponsors contact me. He's like, "Hey, I want you to review this app. We want you to talk about it. Here are the things we want you to highlight about it. And we will, you know, you sign a contract. We pay you X, Y, and Z. So I downloaded the app, signed the contract, said, "Yes, I can talk about this. I will hit these cliff notes, and then I will talk about it and promote your your app on my channel." I done that. That's fine. There's people that, that does that with products. I have a buddy from, like, Neo Game Sparks. He gets products and video games, and he reviews it, and he tells it right away. Like, I don't know if his contract is different to my contract. I don't know if his contract says, hey, you can't say negative things about it or whatnot. But he's very open to say, look, this is what I like. This is what I dislike. Now, reviewing a product in a game in an app is two different things. Because when I'm talking about an app, I'm just, you know, kind of giving like a small commercial for this app. Where when you're reviewing a game, you kind of have to give the negatives. Now, if PewDiePie and other people want to say, hey, look, these are my thoughts. I'm like, like nothing but positive. And this is not a big deal because, well, it's a big deal. But this isn't nothing new, I mean. This is nothing new because Machinima was doing it forever. Machinima was doing it like all the time. Anything Xbox did or Call of Duty, man, Machinima was on that cock, man. Machinima was giving everything positive reviews. So if you think Warner Brothers is the first company to actually come out here and pay people to get positive reviews, then you're nuts. You're nuts because it's nothing new, especially in video games. I think it's harder for movies because if a critic, if, if someone finds, like if someone finds out a studio paid someone to give Aquaman good reviews, man, there's going to be a huge uproar. That critic will never fucking get another job again. The studio will be like black flagged. It was like, or red flag or black eyed. It's going to get some kind of color on something is what I'm trying to say. But in the gaming industry, is different. Because you get copies of the game. I'm pretty sure there are times where critics are saying, you know, Hey, look, they sponsored me. I have to say positive things. Now, when I was reading over the article, it said, like, you can't show any pictures of or any game footage of glitching. You can't show. And that goes to them wanting to promote their product. So they reach out to YouTubers to promote their product. So I, I don't see what the big deal is. Is it false advertisement? Sure, I guess, kind of. But the YouTubers signed a contract to do that. And when you sign a con contract, you have to kind of follow what you signed. So, uh, it's an iffy situation. I've never been in the the situation where I got a game or a game product 
for a review and had to deal with that. I only dealt with the one sponsor for Amino app, and that was very much just me saying, hey, look, this is Amino. This is all the cool stuff you can do with Amino, and I really do like Amino. Um, they're not paying me to say this right now. Um, I wish they would, though, but uh, I still constantly use Amino. I use Amino on a daily basis. I actually really love that app and love what it is for you know superhero and geek culture. So... Um, I didn't have to deal with that in my experience, but I'm pretty sure this happens all the time. But I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about Warner Brothers apparently paying off YouTubers to give positive reviews? Is this something new to you? Do you even care? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.